It's your mother, baby. Give me a phone call. I haven't heard from you in a couple of days. Give me a call, baby. I'm worried about you. Bye-bye. Melanie calling from Dr. Delaware's office. If you would, please give us a phone call back. It's very immediate, and we need you to come in for more testing. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. is what you came for lightning strikes every time she moves and everybody's watching her but she's looking at you hey Quincy what you doing girl nothing just sitting up here in the drive through at McDonald's trying to give me a little bite to eat H hold on let me get a number two with a Sprite wait come meet me at the park what you out there exercising? Won't he do it? <laughs> Boy, no, I ain't out here exercising. Come on. Well, honey, as soon as I get this meal, I'm on the way. Well, okay then. Come on. Lord. Lord, I've been just going through lately and I I just need an answer from you. I, the other day, I got dashed with some water. Oh, I almost lost my job. I'm getting big. Lord, I just need need a sign. I'm trying to be a good Christian woman, but it just seems like I, I'm going through so much right now, and I just I need a sign from you. What can I do? I'm trying to love Peaches, but after the incident that happened, I just I don't know if I can forgive her. And I know that's not being Christian-like, but I just need a sign. God, help me out, please. Lord, I've just been going through so much, you know. I pray. I fast. I got the Holy Ghost now. I just want to live. I just want to live right. And I know you'll direct my paths. What's up, boo? Hey, boo! 
freaking heat. You know I don't do the heat. Boo, let me tell you what happened at the restaurant. Oh, okay, that's cute and everything, but just give me one minute, baby. What? What? what you mean, what? All this exercise you, and then you telling me I need to be out here? You know, see, that's your problem. You always trying to count my calories. You can't count my calories, baby. Count yours, baby. I'm eating this, this quarter pounder. What? Yes, baby. I, it's healthy for you. Anyway, let me tell you what happened yesterday what? when I was at work. This, see, I would call her out her name, but you know, I'm saved now, so I can't talk bad about her. But Peaches, you know how, or the one I told you about, you know, my baby's father. Yeah, I heard about all that. Yeah, I heard yeah. about her. Okay, she came to the restaurant. You know, I'm tired. You know, that's when I called yesterday. You and like, I guess you was exercising. But so you see, always in the pants. Okay, proceed. But like I said, and I have, you know, I was working or whatever. And all of a sudden, you know, my manager told me to come out and, you know, basically do my job. Because, you know, I'm kind of lazy. So I went and took a tea to, a, you know, a, a lady. And it was peaches. Shut. You better shut up. With some old raggly wig on. She should have came back to me. I don't know why. I see why she stopped coming. She probably can't. If you got 500000 why you can't come to me? I mean. Exactly. I, I mean, just raggly. So she come to your job. Did she come out to eat or she come out to pick on you? Just let me know which one it okay, was. Okay. She came and threw some tea. Oh, I know you showed out. Some tea. You had to show out. If I didn't need my little 7, 25 an hour. I promise you, I would have went out. So, so, so you telling me that you you didn't show out? She threw you. She threw something on you. Yeah, she threw some tea. And, and what you do again? Well, you know, I had went to the back. See, see, Jalissa, that's why I, I don't even, baby, I don't even know why we friends, baby. Because you you let folks punk you, baby. You can't be no punk being my friend. What you gonna stop and let that girl throw that drink on you? Well, I, I prayed about it when I got home. God! I Girl, that's that, that's fine that you cool with the Lord, but baby, you come to me with the problem, okay? She throw something on you, I'm going to throw them hands. What you mean? She threw something on you, baby. What she at? I mean, but they say in the Bible, you know, you supposed to forgive people. That, do but, baby, forgive that me. is you that say. That is you. Now tell me what all she did. Well, she threw the tea, and then I went to the back, and, and then when I came back, she was gone. Just, oh, just, Jaleesa, I just don't know what to say about you sometimes. Like, I pray for you, but I don't even think my prayers reach the ceiling. Because it ain't happening you none. When I say it ain't happening you none, it ain't happening you. Like, the older you get, the less you lose focus. What? How you gonna let somebody throw a, a sweet tea on you when you not fighting? I mean, well, I was at my job. I need, you know, I got my son in. You know, I, I got my son in stuff. I just... Uh, there you go I with that crying. I just can't, you know, lose so my listen, job. we all know that you need help. We've been helping you. You act like, like baby D ain't been coming up there helping you with that baby. We all helping you. We know your struggle. You ain't got to keep repeating it. Every time we get up, every time we go somewhere, you want to talk about but your struggle. You ain't the only one guy gave a hard life too. I had a shop. I had these counties locked and loaded. I was selling bundles. I had a boutique. I was on top doing everything. And it just seemed like when I started fucking with peaches, it just seemed like everything just started just, crumbling. Just listen, Damn. Just listen. Come and down. Just listen at you, Jaleesa. Just sitting up there praising that materialistic stuff. That's why you just got robbed by the Lord. That's why he done robbed you because you're up there praising it. He's a jealous guy. That's what I was told. And he was real jealous. You always, won't you go get saved? See, that's what I'm trying to get myself together. For, Qu Quincy, I ju just leave. Go somewhere else because you, ugh, just go on. Jaleesa, you ain't saved. You stupid. You know what? What? Let me tell you what? this. You and Peach is both stupid. Both of y'all pathetic. Y'all up here just fighting over a piece of deceased meat. I ain't never seen two women fighting over a piece of deceased meat ever before. Y'all real catty for that. I just want to let you know that. Do you know that deceased meat? Did you experience it? No, I ain't experienced. Nobody didn't want him. I did. I, I did. I was the girl you up here. And, I did. Girl, you is out of here. You know, you in a ticket me today. Ooh, I ain't I love never. Him. I love him. I miss him. What, girl, girl, what happened to his ashes that you had? Well, I still, you know, I was going through hard times, so I had to sell them because my baby needed some pamphlets <laughs> and all kind of stuff. Jaleesa, girl, you have done one over on me today, baby. Yeah. You have tickled me today. You have, oh, I almost made me cry for you. You know, Jaleesa, I, I have just come to realize you real smart spiritually. I give you this. But you just naturally dumb. I'm naturally dumb. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Quincy, just just go on. Go on. Go over somebody back. Somebody man house. Go on. Go on. Listen Ain't at you. Time. Put me out the park. Listen yep. at you. Bye. Bye.
Get me the food. I know you hungry. Ooh, I ate twice anyway. Lord, I ain't got no heel. This is what you came for. Is you, is you hungry? No, Miss Krisha, I don't want nothing to eat. Thank you, though. I ain't had much of an appetite lately. Well, Peaches, are you sure now? Because I don't cook. I cooked some fried chicken, some collard greens, some hot water cornbread. I made a peach cobbler today. I got some good old sweet tea with lemon. You sure you don't want nothing to eat, baby? Miss Krisha, I thank you so much for that food. I haven't ate in... I don't know since when. I have not had an appetite lately. Well, baby, what's going on? Why you, why you don't have no appetite? I, I, that ain't like you. I'm just I'm just frustrated because, okay, the other day I went on Jaleesa's job and I threw water in her face. Why? I don't know. I guess I'm just so angry because I feel like I lost my best friend, even though she was the one that betrayed me. Mm. It's just so hard for me to accept the fact that she was going behind my back sleeping with my man. And then Tony gets killed. Like, I just feel like my world is upside down. I don't have Tony. I don't have Jaleesa. I don't have nobody. Everybody is gone. Tony was my rock. I, I need Tony. Tony paid bills. Tony just took care of the house. He was a man. And, and I don't have that. Jaleesa, she's gone. So, so it's like, what, what am I going to do? I don't have anybody. I'm just so frustrated. Well, Peaches, listen, baby. Tony was my son. And I don't believe there's a person in the world that loved Tony more than me. Yes, ma'am. But I'm just going to have to be honest with you about the things that you're telling me. First of all, Shirley, although she killed my son, that's my daughter-in-law. Yeah, but that's my daughter-in-law. Tony married Shirley. And he was obligated to that marriage. No matter how good of a man he was to you, no matter how many bills he paid for you, Tony had a wife. Now, Shirley killed Tony. And it took me the longest to come to terms with her killing my only son. But see, let me tell you this. This is what you got to do, baby. First of all, you got to forgive yourself. You got to forgive yourself for going with a married man. He wasn't yours, baby. He belonged to somebody else. You got to forgive Jaleesa. Jaleesa just mm -hmm. only did to you what she was doing to Shirley. Mm -hmm. Then you got to get down on your knees and go to God and ask him to forgive both of y'all. And that is the only way that you're going to get some deliverance from what you're feeling. But... Miss Crenshaw, that ain't even like the bad part about it. It's like, I got something else going on with me that I ain't told nobody about. Well, what's going on? Well, I, I went for my, my yearly exam and they, they told me that they found a mask on my breast and I went back and I had it tested and they said that they said I got stage three cancer and they don't know <laughs> if it's curable, I'm gonna have to start chemo or radiation. They just, <laughs> it's so hard. And I, uh, that's why I'm over here because I, I need somebody in my life. I don't have nobody. You know, Peaches, I sure hate that for you, baby. But you know, my grandmama went through the same thing when I was a little girl. And I could just remember her walking around the house singing this song to help her make it through. When the storm of life is raging, 
stand by me. When the storm of life is raging, stand by me. Lord, when I've done the best I can, and my friend, they don't understand God who knows all about me. Stand by me. Now, Peaches, look at me. You look at me. You got to turn this thing over to Jesus, Peaches.